Okay. My small brother and yes, sister. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. They are more familiar than me because I used to visit all of outside and they are, when I am outside, they, they, used to, they used to play with dog. And yes. They enjoy it. Very nice, very nice. And is Jackie a, a, a white dog, a black dog, or a brown dog, or what color? Not cool white also, it's mixed, it's the white and black. White and black? It's adorable. Uh-huh, adorable dog, yes, wow. Adorable. And yeah. does the dog bark a lot? Does it do a lot of barking? Yeah, when you, if you see the other person in the, in the home, it will bark, it will bark and we will make it calm. Right? Yes. The streets of people and our guests will come again. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it will stay calm. Yeah. Does the, the, has the dog ever bitten anyone? Uh, till now, it's been one year when we are very really good. Uh, it's not happening till now. Uh huh. This type of case is not happening till now. Hope it will not happen. Would you like to have another dog? Uh, another dog, I think it will not because one dog it is enough for one because yeah. uh, our home is not so so large, like it is not surrounded by right. One dog can easily secure and it will be easy right. to easy care also on no. the. A cat? Yes, I have a white cat. You have a white cat. Yeah. Wow. Because so you have a dog, dog and a cat. I want a one cat because dog it do need more effort to cure and keep yes. the height. But cat, it's not same case with cat. Uh -huh. It can be easily, easily and flexibly. It can be stay anywhere. And just a few day, a few day, some day can also. Yes. Has. Very good. Cat to draw. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Like that. That. Let's go to the next question now. Okay. Very good. Describe a trip that you took. You have one minute to jot down some notes, and um, and so we'll after one minute we'll check back with you. All right, so we're very excited to be with you today here at Beyond Education Center, and uh, we're uh, so happy to be able to help you towards your dreams. What are your dreams? You know, behind me we have a map of America. Many people are going there, and uh, because they found it to be a an opportunity for the best place to study and uh, for all major subjects in the United States because of the resources the most and right now you're getting good scholarships from the universities and and uh, good internships from companies located near the universities and so uh, whatever you invest to be able to study in the United States you can get that money back and and uh, or you can uh, not have to pay it if you get the scholarships and and so I encourage you to call our office today get a, and make an appointment come in and talk with Suresh Ting, our director, and he can guide you to the right university with the right scholarships and, and the right the right assistance to help you. And uh, and so I'm going to get back to our student right now. Let's go. That, that, so, uh, Raja, and uh, please tell me about a trip. Recently, I visit Lumbini. Lumbini. Okay. Uh, since it's the birthplace of both Lord Gordon, yes. which is known as Light of Asia. Uh -huh. I, I travel with my friend because we are planning from long to, to travel. Yes. Also, unfortunately, due to our academic work, it yes. is not possible. Recently, I give my plus two exam and we got back as a vacation. We yes. plan to travel and it's, it's around 170 kilometers from here and we travel by booking a car. Yes. And we start our we start out from Bukhara and, and we travel through Mughli. Due, yes. to bad, due to the bad weather, we have to stay at the jam and mm -hmm. there are natural problem. Yes. It's a tedious moment. Mm -hmm. And and fortunately, at the next day morning, we arrive at the Lumbini. Okay. We stay the last night at the hotel, and in the morning we start our trip and entering the Lumbini place. It's just like Amazing place, it's with inner satisfaction because this is a religion place. Not from only Nepal, there's people from all over the world will visit there because his Gautam Buddha is known as for his calmness, his peace. Peace, so that many people used to visit. There's lots of crowds, there's bigger than Zongin coin in the gate, and we park our car in. We park our car apart from the Slum Mini because there is no any there is no any place to park right. around the around the premises, great premises and we start our trip by walking. There is the available of slight auto which is auto it's mean just like the vehicle which is operated with uh, electric and battery. 
but we prefer to travel by walking because we have to see the view of Lumbini. We have a lot of monastery and monastery. That just is that the German monastery is just eye catching. It's just like they are repeating their culture, religion, their their their. It's like it's just a time to time. And we have a lot of monastery around the Lumbini premises, and we have seen. We have seen there is a little bit there is jungle also that we have seen lots of bars which we have never seen before because it is available in it is it is in Thai region we have seen from Hindu region. Right. Very good. Very mm-hmm. good. You've described that trip very well, Rajan. Yes. Do, do you think that uh, people in Nepal like to go for trips like this? Yeah, during the last decades, people are, like to travel. Trip just like because they need to. What are some problems that people face when they go on these trips? Yeah, uh, Nepal is a developing country. There is yeah. no available of the road. Yes. Old passenger road. Just like they are, they are just like make their problem as their right. adventure. Yes. So that yes. I they prefer to visit. Mm-hmm. Very good. Yeah. You've answered the questions very nicely, Ratana. You yes. have a nice personality and a nice smile. You have good fluency. And and, and uh, your English is good, yes. and so I'd rate you around a improvement and to even score higher. And so I encourage you to keep watching the American videos and imitate them into a mirror to develop more of the American style pronunciation. That will be, help you for your interview. You get stronger by watching the videos and repeating them into the person speak the words. If the person says, uh, Ohio is the 27th state in the United States, then you say, Ohio is the 27th state in the United States. The same way they speak it, you speak it back. So watch it on the film, pause, then say it into the mirror. Same way. So get that same pronunciation. It will benefit you. You'll score. Yeah, I think that will be good for you. Yes. Okay, great. And I hope you have a great day, Rajana. Okay, same day. Great to talk with you today. Okay. Please send in the next okay. student. Okay. See you soon. Yeah. Next Have a great day. Yeah. Okay. See you in Malipata. Okay. Yeah, please come in. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? Great, great. My name's Craig and your name again? I am Simran. Simran, yes. Good to see you, Simran. How Thank are you, you feeling? I'm feeling very excited and nervous at the same oh, time. Ah, Simran. You're a good student. You don't need to be nervous. So it's good. I'm going to ask you a few questions to determine your level of English. I think you have a very good English. Rivers of the same is mostly famous, and it's like the uh, the nature hub of the state. Uh-huh. Amazing, amazing. And where did you do your studies? I studied in the city Pokhara, and uh, I uh, the primary level of my uh, study was in the school called ST Angels Mission School, okay. and uh, and I did nine and ten. I studied at uh, Sri Govan Secondary School, which is a government school, yes. and I did my high school uh, in Pasimansa Secondary School in the Faculty of Law, and it was really interesting to amazing. pursue my education. Amazing, amazing. What are your plans for the future? Uh, I'm planning to study at the abroad USA on the uh, Faculty of Criminology. Wow. It's been really <laughs> been my uh, the, uh, dream of from the child to be something in the uh, Faculty of Law in the uh, field of law. I'm uh, planning to migration in the United States. Oh, criminals beware! <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Simran is going to catch you. Okay. All right. So this is the uh, your. Uh, question. We have one minute to prepare. Here's some scratch paper, and here's a pen. And uh, and so go ahead, go ahead and prepare for the next minute, and then present for one to two minutes on that subject. All right. So those that are watching today, we have a very uh, brilliant student, Simran, with us right now, and she's uh, uh, getting doing the second question in the IELTS mock test, uh, which is a, a cue card question where you have a written question, and um, and then you read it and think of how you're going to answer that question for about a minute, and you can scratch down some notes and and then you present uh, for one to two minutes on that subject until the officer stops you. And so uh, so this is a very good exercise to determine one's English speaking ability. And so we'll, we'll uh, 
we're happy to provide IELTS training here at Beyond Education, and we're happy to provide PTE training, Duolingo training, to help you be able to do these tests to, to, and to pass them with a high score. And we have very good trainers, Suresh Ting, our director, and uh, um, Durga Guru, oh, so good with the IELTS training, and others that are here, and of course our American trainers too. So we're excited to be able to help you. So call our office today, make an appointment, come in and get started. Okay, great talking with you. Let's get back to Simran. Simran, please uh, tell me. So at one time when my brother and I were coming back from uh, school to home, uh, we saw the uh, fruit fruits called boyer. But it's called boyer, and it's like the food of small seed. Yes. Uh, and it's really tasty. Wow. So we found it at the side of gutter. Oh. So we were very desperate to have that food. My brother and I were uh, thinking of the ideas of how can we pick the fruit. So uh, my brother got into the side of gutter yes. and I was uh, holding his hand and he was picking the food. <laughs> but suddenly my hands got slip and we both fell into the gutter. Oh, wow. <laughs> we both fell into the gutter. What and an then, experience. And then our school dress was holy soaked. Oh, our shoes were very easy, very oh. dotty. Our dress became dotty. So, what and, did you do? And then we go to home without cleaning. You went home. Yeah, without cleaning anything, we got to home boys in our hand. Yes. With the fruits in our hand. And when we got to the home, we got a good score from oh, mother. Oh, I'm so sure. Really I'm angry. sure. Yes. So it's really angry of what we did. Yeah. And But we shared the food with the mother also. Uh -huh. And it is really memorable journey whenever... Yes. So whenever we sat in the sofa and we were doing something, we just remember that incident and we laugh a lot. <laughs> and it's, uh, I can't forget that. That's ever. Really the quarter and uh, the place is still there. Yes. The fr uh, fruit is still mm -hmm. there. So wow. whenever we pass by the road, we still remember that. Mm -hmm. uh, how we can go back to uh, the time and uh, the time when we go, used to go together yeah. in school. Now, now he's in school and right. in college, so we can't go together. Right. So it's mm -hmm. like really memorable it time is. for me. Well, if you see any fruits on it, uh, pluck one for me, okay? Oh, thank <laughs> you. I'll make sure I don't fall don't in the Don't fall in the <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, it's, uh, tell me, do you think that Nepali people have a good sense of humor? Yes, obviously Nepali people do have good sense of humor. Like they, uh, we have Nepali people are very friendly with each other, and yes. uh, as you can see, us. Yes. So we uh, really like to talk, speak to each other, and we like to create some funny moments uh, yes. with each other. And they do have a great humor. Do people like to watch comedies on television and in the films? Of yeah. course, like when the family will gather for the food, we like to watch the TVs. We like, we like to watch the comedy movies mm -hmm. and spend some good time together with the family. Mm -hmm. Do, you, uh, do people like to tell jokes? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. And what are, uh, what's a favorite joke you've heard? Um, in English, uh, yeah, I will try to say it in yes. English. It's like the, uh, in one time, uh, the, um, <laughs> in one time when there is lion mm. and um, the mouse in the forest. Yes. And lion and mouse uh, started a race. Yes. And, uh, telling that who will be better. So a lion was like um, sitting there, he was um, thinking that I will win the race easily with the mouse, but the mouse bite on the lion's leg and he ran away. Okay. Yeah, so that's the joke. In English, it's, it seems a little unfunny, but in Nepali when we say it, it sounds really funny because it has some words. Okay, that rhyme some, and... Yeah, yeah. rhyming words, so it, it, uh, they find it really funny. Wow, I can understand that. Okay, <laughs> great. Thank you for sharing that with me, Simran. Yeah. And you speak very well. Your English is already very good and I rate you at 6.5 already and Thank so yeah excellent job and, and see the only one uh, me, uh, grammatical uh, 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 error that I, I found was that you said uh, something like we uh, we we go to we go to, uh, but we we went to we went as a correct word selection we went uh, to the uh, we went back home so we went back home Okay. All right. So other than that, very fantastic job. And, and so and looking forward to continuing to encourage you and prepare you for a great IELTS score. So yeah, correct. And I hope you have a great day. Okay, great. Nice talking with you. Please send in the next one.
Hey, please come in. How are you today? Yeah, I'm doing great. Nice to meet you. My name is Craig, and your name again? My name is Rasnita. Rasnita? So, so happy to see you, Rasnita. Rosnita, I'm going to ask you a few questions now. Yeah, please tell me, Rosnita, uh, where were you born? I was born in Sengza, one of the most popular cities of Nepal. Tell me about Sengza. Sengza, it yeah. is my birthplace and my hometown as well. Uh, it is the place where I lived my, um, I, uh, I spent my whole childhood and I recently resided over here in Pukhara. Yes. So yeah, there are lots of memories. <laughs> yeah. Wow, what did you do in Shengja? And Shengja, actually, um, um, there, over there we had our own house and yes. we have our own farm. So we usually used to grow vegetables, fruits and sell to the uh, cities. And like, we used to spend a lot of time enjoying the nature. So yeah, it was one of the most memorable. Amazing. Who's in your family? My family, um, I have my mother, father, brother, and one sister. Uh -huh. So total we have uh, all together five. Wow, great. And you are you the eldest? Yeah, I'm the okay, eldest. Okay, wow. <laughs> Is that hard, being the eldest? Yeah, sometimes it's uh, like quite uh, memorable as well as uh, mm -hmm. like um, I, I can get chance to act with my uh, siblings rather mm -hmm. than my parents um, and yeah. I'm and I can like um, guide them more about uh -huh. this world. So yeah, it's sometimes, but uh, sometimes it's quite exhausting as well. I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> And um, and um, uh, when you, do your family um, is now living in Pokhara? Yeah. Or, yes. Okay. Yeah. Where do you stay in Pokhara? Uh, we stay at uh, Tutunga, uh, which is uh, ward number fifteen, and we have their own uh, like property. So okay. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Now let's go to the second question, which is about a friend that you made. And you may take one minute to prepare an answer, and then one to two minutes to present that answer. For those that are uh, on our audience, we're doing the IELTS speaking mock test. And, and so we have a great uh, uh, student with us right now, Rajnita, and she's doing the second part of the IELTS speaking mock test, which is the cue card question. She has one minute to prepare an answer, then one to two minutes to present on that answer. She has a few more seconds, but I just wanted to encourage you again, call our office and uh, get the information, make an appointment, come into our office and get the process started for you to reach your dreams abroad. And so we're very excited to be able to help you. We've been helping students go to Canada, Australia, UK and other countries and, and most especially we've been helping people go to the United States which we feel is the greatest study opportunity today on the planet and so we want to help you. So give us a call and tell us again uh, uh, what uh, uh, give us your questions and we're so happy to help you. Let's get back now to Rajnita. Rajnita, please tell me about a friend that you made. A few months ago I started working as a part-timer. Yes. So I started working at Sobhagration which is an advertising agency. Okay. So yeah, I started working there and I started at that time, I met uh, Sumitra Thakuri. Okay. Uh, she is, uh, although she is a bit younger than me, yes. but she is very kind and she is very friendly. Yes. Um, we always used to talk a lot about right. our friends. Yes. Uh, and she and um, our vibe used to match a lot. Wow. And uh, like uh, she has, uh, she is, she has been one of the most important person in my life. Amazing. And, yeah, I feel like she's a, a part of my family as well. Mm -hmm. We also spent um, some um, quality time at Pumdi um, and we went over there last Saturday and it was quite an amazing time with her. Uh, we, used to, uh, we had some chit chats, we had some drinks and enjoyed the nature, beautiful nature yes. of the site. So it was quite a memory. Very nice, very nice. And do you think it's easy to make friends in Nepal or is it hard? Actually, um, it depends upon um, Yes. Uh, I'm uh, I'm an introvert person, so yeah. uh, I find it quite difficult to make friends. Yes. But um, if uh, um, people are, I, I mean, uh, in Nepal, people are very friendly. Yes. But uh, like sometimes it's quite hard to be friendly and match our vibes together. So right. yeah, it mm -hmm. all uh, it depends upon uh, mm -hmm. individual. Tell me what's important in making friendships. I believe that to make 
friends now you feelings and you sh um, that person should show some respect towards you i believe that respect is the most important thing if a person is not respecting you then i uh, i think uh, that's not appropriate uh, and i feel i find it really difficult um, and uh, i think i believe that uh, uh, you should um, love and care for each other uh, from your inner heart yes. not not to show off but from uh, you know, how you feel mm -hmm. you know very um, nice I you've answered the question so nicely today you have a very good fluency you can speak and speak without interruption and and so you have a good grammar and a good vocabulary you have good pronunciation all the way around you're good and I put you between 6 and 6.5 right now and so I know you're going to continue to make improvement and so I just encourage you keep studying keep doing your reading every day writing every day every day speaking every day practicing 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 you'll do very well on your examination Thank you. yeah and I hope you have a great day Rajnita. Thank you. yeah take Thank care you. yeah please send in the next student okay so another fine student Rajnita and so we, why don't you join our classes? We, we, our classes are so great. We have such excellent trainers here. They get the students up speaking English like, like, a, like a pro. And uh, they'll get you ready for your studies in the United States and other countries. So please, please come in, Alice. So my name is Craig Phillips. I'll be your examiner today. I'm going to ask you a few questions to determine your speaking ability. Please give me your full name. My name is Maliti Biki, but people usually call me Maliti. Ma Malati. Malati. Okay, Malati. Where were you born? I was born in Nepal. Uh huh. Which Pokhara. place? Mm -hmm. In Pokhara. Okay, tell me about Pokhara. Pokhara is the beautiful city of Nepal. Uh huh. It is, it is clean and its nature is so much good. Yes, and yes. All the people are so much friendly. Uh huh. And many of the tourists come to visit Pokhara mainly because, yes. like, because they want to see the beautiful nature mm -hmm. of lakes mm -hmm. and of. Very nice, very nice. And tell me about your favorite place in Pra. My favorite place in Pokhara is Pami. Pami. Yes. What's there? There is one temple of Lord Siva mm -hmm. and. I'm so much into worship, that's why I like that place. Mm -hmm. And we can also sit there and eat mm -hmm. different varieties of fishes. What's your favorite kind of fish? Uh huh. Why? Because it is easy to eat yes. and we don't need to take any risk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And uh, and do you go to Pami often? I didn't because I have to manage all the time for the class. But yes. when I get my time, then I will visit Pami. Very nice, small team. You answered the question very good. Now we're going to give you the cue card question, the second part. Describe a book that you've read. Here's a, uh, a sheet. You can jot down a few notes. You have one minute to prepare, then one to two minutes at the answer. So Malati is working hard to get a nice presentation. Her English is good and so she's been studying very hard and, and so now it's your turn. Please come into our classes, give us a call, get enrolled today. We have wonderful Nepali and American trainers here to help you and so we want to get your English up. We want to get you to be able to be accepted at USA universities and universities in other countries as well. And, uh, and so we're very intent on helping your English become strong. And so, you know, today, if your English is strong, then it gives you a golden opportunity all over the world because English is the international language. And so I just encourage you, call our office today, make an appointment, come and get enrolled into our IELTS classes or PTE or Duolingo classes, and we'll get you set to score high on your, your examinations and, and, uh, and then to be accepted in USA uh, um, universities and other universities from different countries. Okay, let's begin with Malati. Malati, please tell me about a book that you've read. I have read the book mm. called Muna and Madan. Yes. And I have read it on 10th class. Yes. And it has been written by Muna and Madan. Okay, excuse me. Uh, 
uh, what is your particular study? Biology science. Okay, biology science. Okay, and what is the name of the university that you're planning to attend? My university is named in Southwest Minnesota State University. Southwest Minnesota State. Okay. Um, why did you choose this university in the U.S.? I choose this university because it has a fascinating welcome environment and it's the student traditional student. you got to speak up a little bit louder. Okay. Okay. I choose this university because it has a fascinating welcome environment and it has a student international student. Biology program has a strong reputation and offers diverse specializations and uh, financial benefit for all the living all the living expenses as well. That's why I choose this university. Okay, for okay. My study. Okay, all right. Uh, what are your career plans after your graduation? After completing my study in the United States. I will definitely return back to my home country because my dream is to be a physician. Physician? Yes, okay. physician. Okay. And I want to apply all the knowledge and experience that I have gained from the United States and I want to apply in my Nepal as well to become a physician. Okay, what type of, what is your particular study? Particular? What part of, what is, as a physician? Yes, medical doctor. Okay, medical doctor, general. Okay, how will you fund your education? Okay, what did your parents do for a living? My father is, uh, my father works in abroad Japan. Excuse me? Japan. Japan. Yes. Japan. What does he do? He is the manager of manufacturing company. Manufacturing, Man okay. And uh, do you have any relatives in the United no, States? Sir, okay. I have Excuse I me? Haven't. You haven't, okay. Yes. A little bit louder. Speak up a little bit louder, okay? Why did you choose this course? Why this, this particular subject you wanted to study? Okay. Okay. Biology sector. Okay. All right. Um, uh, what if I reject your visa today? I'm confident that you will grant my visa today, but if there is some problem, I will correct it immediately, and I'm going to reapply to pursue my goals to study in the United States. Okay, all right. Can you show me your academic records? Yes, sir, I have. Okay, okay thank you. Uh, what do you know about the city where you live, where you're going to study? There are lots of uh, 10,000 lakes. 10,000 lakes. And river and pond. Uh, have you seen any videos? Have you watched? Yes, I have seen you have, okay. You've seen the campus? Yes. Have on, yes online? Seen. Okay. Yes, all right. Do you like it? Yes, I like it. Too. Okay, all right. Um, do you have any plan to return to your home country afterwards? Okay, all right. Wonderful. Have you ever visited the United States? No, sir, I have Do you have, uh, do you take any drugs? Do you smoke? No, none of those things. Do you have a boyfriend uh, in the United States? No. Okay. Okay. Uh, have you voted in, against the United States? Voted? Have you spoken against the United States, the government of the United States? Okay. Uh, while, will you be working while you're on your visa? No, I will only focus on my studies. On your studies. Okay. Okay. What guarantees that you will come back to your home country? Okay, I appreciate that. Okay, all right. I just wanted to grant you your visa. But one thing I want to encourage you is cl clarity and yes, project your voice. Project your voice because the officer doesn't need to lean forward, but should be able to hear you speak speak louder and uh, with clarity, a little bit more clarity. Okay, thank you. Take care. Okay. Hi, how are you? Very good. Very good. Uh, tell me about the university that you're planning to go to.
Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, why did you choose the United States instead of your home country? Because I want to be a financial advisor in futures, financial advisor, financial advisor, and I will be needing more practical approach for my course. But the uh, course is very useful for me. So I want to be a financial advisor. What are your career plans after graduation? After graduation, I will be returning back here in Nepal. I want to work in a world bank here in Kathmandu, which is in Jamal. I want to work in a global IME capital fund, which is in Jamal, Kathmandu. After uh, working from here, when I think I will be able of having all my skills and knowledge about financial advisor, I will be starting up my own business. Okay, wonderful. How will you fund your education? If my parents are going to fund all the pay all the uh, expenses while I live in Nepal. What do your parents? What do your parents do for a living? My father owns a clothing store here in Nepal. He owns. He owns a clothing store. Yes, clothing okay. store here in Nepal, and his annual income is eighteen thousand US dollars. And my mother is a nurse, and her annual income is ten thousand US dollars. And we do have a savings. Can you show the details of that? Yes, of course. Okay, wonderful. Do you have any relatives in the US? No. Okay. Uh, do you what? Why did you choose this particular course of study? Yes, I want to be a financial advisor here in Nepal and accounting play a vital role in decision making, critical thinking and problem solving skills. Uh, and it will provide me in deep knowledge about the business world and business tactics and organizational behavior which okay. will help me to be What if I reject your visa today? I'm, I'm confident that you will grant me your visa today but if there I have a quick question. Do you, can you show me your academic records? Yes. yes. You, you can. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. Can I see it, please? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, what do you know about... There is a mini um, community place where, where the festivals, where the, the way they will know international uh, people and the way they coordinate and the way people in March in the Marshall City um, help others, uh, help other people. I like that way. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, do you have plans to return to your home country? Yes, I do. Okay. Wonderful. And uh, have you ever visited the U.S. before? No. no. Okay. And have you ever been arrested for no. anything? Drugs, no. alcohol? No. Do you have a boyfriend back home, no. back in uh, America? No. Okay. Uh, have you ever spoken against the United States government? No. Okay. Uh, will you be working while you're on your work no, visa? No, I'm only focusing on my studies because my skills and education matters me a lot. Okay. Uh, what guarantees that you will come back to exactly. Nepal? I want to be a financial advisor in Nepal because this we can see the economic status of Nepal is it's going downward and I want to contribute something in my country. And my parents are here, so I'm mostly attached with my parents and I have my parents to look after, so I do come. Okay, thank you. Thank All right. You so Hi, how are you? I'm fine. I'm very good, very good. And uh, tell me about the, the university that you're interested in studying. I'm going to attend the Webster University at Major Institute. Excuse me, speak Web up. Webster University at Major Institute. Webster. University. Where is that? Uh, it is located in the Major State, uh, in the city of St. Louis. St. Louis, okay, yes. St. Louis. And the university's name is Webster. Webster. Webster University in St. Louis, Missouri. All right, okay, you got to pronounce it a little bit more clarity. Say that, say that once more. I, Webster. I'm Webster, Webster University. Webster University. Where, where is that? It is located in the city of uh, St. Louis. St. Louis. St. Louis, Missouri. Missouri. 
Missouri, Missouri, yeah, St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, okay, so for now, just work on that, right? Where am I going? I'm going to, I would love to go to uh, Webster University, St. Louis, Missouri. Okay, and um, what is your particular, what are you going to major in? And um, why did you choose the United States instead of Nepal? Uh, to be honest, the same course is also available in my country. Uh, but I prefer to study U.S. for several reasons. Uh, because U.S.A. offers a unique uh, experimental learning opportunity uh, to access a global network of professionals and, uh, and specialized courses that are not available locally. And the international perspective is really crucial for my career. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. What are your career plans after graduation? Uh, after completing my degree, uh, I plan to return to Nepal and contributing to my family's business over here. Uh, and uh, I'm con uh, my goal is to implement modern practices and expand the company's operation. And the knowledge and experience I gain from studying in the U.S. Uh, will be valuable in achieving this objective and to help our family's business. Okay. Um, how will you fund your education? My parents are... What do your parents do for a living? Uh, to commence with, uh, my mother is a businesswoman by profession, and my what type of business? What type of business is your grocery? grocery. What uh, is it? All Nepali local groceries. Okay. And um, how big is this grocery shop? So, so you should, it's good to know these things. He might throw something at, so we'll always be ready to answer those questions. Oh, it's uh, 2,000 square feet, or it's uh, it's this big. We have, um, so we've been in business for five years, 10 years. How long has your family been in business? How long have, have they been in business? More than five years. Five years, okay, very good. And uh, how much, what's the income? Income, the we earn annually around uh, 24,000 US dollar, and uh, my father is the building and uh, contracting analyst in Dubai, and uh, he earns annually around 15,000. Okay, can you prove that? Can you prove that? Do you have the financial records? Yes. Okay, thank you. He might. He will ask that. If, if he does, you you should be ready to provide that for your fathers and your mother. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, do you have Do you have any relatives in the United States? Okay. Uh, what, why did you choose this particular course of study? Course? Yeah. Why did you this major? Uh, my core interest lies in business, as I have done my high school is in business subject here in Nepal, and my mother also engaged in business, and that made me really inspired to take this course as my career course. And I, as well as I want to expand my mother's business, uh, and that's why this course will help me to be able to get an understanding in general areas like managerial concept, processes, and principles. That's okay. why. I All right. Just a little bit louder, a little bit louder, and clarity. Okay. Uh, what if I reject your visa today? Uh, without visa, I'm confident of getting visa. But if I fail to convince you, uh, then I will have to respect your decision also. Then I will reapply next time and try to do better than Wow, you're a confident young lady. Good, that's okay. Uh, can you show me your academic records? Okay, yes, there it is. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right. Um, uh, what do you know about the city? This university and the city and the people, what do you know about that? The city I'm going to. Yes, I this university. Yes. And uh, it is a city famous for the gateway iconic art. Yes. And also it is a city with a, uh, with a lot of natural beauty. And uh, plus uh, this city has no shortage of filtering opportunities for international students. It has what? I didn't hear you. Uh, they have no shortage of field trip opportunities uh, to international students. It doesn't. It does have. Does not have shortage. Does not shortage of field trip opportunities for international students. Shortage. What is shortage? I didn't understand. Uh, doesn't have any problems. Is yes, that what you say? Doesn't have any. Any, any issues with in, having international students? Is that what you're saying? Uh, doesn't have any issue uh, to search to field trip opportunities in this city. Field trip. Okay, I didn't understand. So that you might have to change. So just 
look it up, look up this place, look up St. Louis, look up what, what do you like? If you ask me, what do you like about Nepal? Ask me. Ask me. What do you, what do, what do I like about Nepal? Oh, wow, there's so many things. Beautiful mountains. I can see the clouds, nice fluffy clouds. The people are smiling, you know, delicious food. Food is delicious, spicy food. Uh, so many things, so many wonderful things. We've got one of the tallest mountains in the world here, you know. So many people coming for adventure. So, so it's so it's natural. So look, study about it, and then bring it into your own words. Okay, that's my encouragement to you. Just bring it into your own words, so it comes naturally. So you look at it, you learn about it, you look at some YouTube videos or study about it and bring it into your own words. But what, what does that place mean to you? Okay, have you? do you have plan to return to your home country? Yes, of course. I love to return to your home country after coming to my Okay, very good. Uh, have you visited the United States before? No. Okay. Um, do, you, do you, have you ever been arrested? No. Okay, do you take drugs? No. Drugs. Okay. Alcohol? Do you drink? No. Okay. Uh, have you spoken against the U.S. government? No. Do you have a boyfriend in the U.S.? No. Ah, okay. Uh, will you be working on your visa? Will you be working? Yes, sir. Will you be working? No, I don't have any intention for working in the United States. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Uh, what guarantees that you will come back to Nepal? What is the guarantee? Uh, because uh, I have very strong ties to my home country. As, well as, as I already mentioned that uh, my goal is to expand my mother business here in Nepal. And that's the big reason I want to come like Nepal to pursue my, to contribute my family business in success. And that's the reason. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I want to grant you your US visa. Congratulations. <laughs> Hi, how are you? What is your name? My name is Anjana Padia. Anjana Padia. Anjana Padia. Okay, nice to meet you. Okay. Um, tell me about the university that you're planning to go to. I'm going to the University of Tennessee University. The university has a program and a company environment for the university. For the university university. And the university also offers community engagement. Okay, why did you choose to study in the United States instead of Nepal? Studying in your history, you're studying in Nepal is similar to what I have been experiencing for the past two years with this teacher center and based on textbook learning and memorization. And a bachelor student from the United States will provide me a research based uh, program. Uh, for that, I can uh, showcase my projects in the international or that's why. Okay, and what are your career plans after graduation? How did you how will you fund this education? My parents are going to fund me as both of my parents work for poultry farm business from thirty years. What kind of business? Poultry farming and supplies. Okay. Okay. And um, um, do you have any relatives in the U.S.? No, I don't have any. Okay. And uh, why did you choose this course of study? From my grandparents to my parents, I have seen their dedication and going into my life too for business success. And I have always desired to play a part in their journey and to continue their legacy. That's why I chose this uh, major as it will be with social skills in leadership and teamwork and make a business part. What if I reject this visa today? I'm confident that you earn my visa. But if there is a mistake, I'll call it to you immediately. And you have to again as it is my dream to study the United States. Okay, uh, can you show me your academic records? Yeah. Very good. Uh, 
What do you know about the city or the university where you're going to be studying? The university is Marshall, and it is known for beautiful and cold weather, beautiful surrounding and cold weather. And it has also a company named as this one food company, which is known for delivering frozen food. And it is also a place for historical landmarks and cultural activities like Yun County uh, historical museums. Marshall Area Fine Arts Council, and it is a third home of Dr. Kitar Room of Actor James Agnes, who's work in a, who work in a series which is called this book. Okay. Okay, all right. Um, uh, do you have plans to return to your home country afterwards? Yeah, I have always already told you that I have a vision to expand our business. Okay. Okay. Very good, very good. Have you visited the United States before? No. Okay. Have you been arrested? No. Have you taken drugs or no. smoked drugs? No. 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 Do you have a boyfriend in the U.S.? No. Okay. Um, do you have you spoken against the United States government? Ever? No. Okay. Uh, will you be working on your visa? No, I'm only focusing on my studies there. Very good. What guarantees that you will come back? To Nepal. Yeah, to continue our legacy so that my father's name will be renowned for decades to come in the Nepal market. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you for this time. I want to grant you your the visa. I uh, just work on speaking a little bit louder and uh, clarity. Just clarity in your just pronunciation a little bit. Okay, that's all. Doing good. Uh, hi, how are you? How are you? Can you give me a moment? Tell me about your university that you're planning to attend. Uh, I'm planning to attend Southwest University. Okay. And um, why did you choose this? Uh, I chose Southwest University University because of its welcoming environment and strong program, especially in the field of hotel management. Hotel management. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the university offers affordable tuition fees. Okay, wonderful. Uh, why did you choose the United States instead of Nepal? Uh, I chose the United States because as the difference between subject structure between Nepal and the US, and the US is a home of a world's leading university and is a global leader in the event management sector. We chose to write the idea of high profile event, conference, and festival. And Nepal has a good one universities, but they lack a specialization and the exposure that I seek for. So, yeah, I chose the Okay, US. all right. What, what are your career plans after graduation? Uh, after completing my graduation, uh, I'll be returning back to my country so that I can establish my own career as an event manager and give a lot of job opportunities to the people here in Nepal. Okay, all right. And how will you fund your education there? My parents will fund me. Okay, what do your parents do for a living? My parents, uh, my father served as an Indian army for since 20 years. And my mother as, a, as a what? Indian? Army. Indian army? Yeah, yeah. Okay, not in a box. No, no. Oh, okay. And my mother runs a rental business. Rental and, business, yeah, okay. They have an uh, annual income of 40,000 US dollars. Okay. And my mother, uh, and apart from this, we have a saving of 30,000 US dollars in my mother's bank account. Okay, all right. Okay, that's good. Uh, do you have any relatives in the U.S.? No. Okay. Uh, what? Why did you choose this course of study again? 
body management. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I chose hotel management because I've always been fascinated by the dynamics of the hospitality industry okay. and opportunities to make a positive impact on people's experience, which will help me to combine my passion and for culture, travel, and events and songs. Okay. All right. And um, what if I reject your visa today? Uh, sir, I'm confident that you will grant me a visa. But if there is a problem, I will try to rectify it and reapply. Right. Because studying in the USA is my very first preference to the small top class education system and intensive classes. Okay, all right. Uh, can you show me your academic records? Uh, I have completed my high school. Do you have your records with you? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, what do you know about the city or the university where you're going, you're interested in going? Uh, I have researched truly about the Marshall, uh, which is mainly known for its uh, food company and a vibrant to students. And that Marshall is a hub of education, which will give me a perfect environment for my both academic and personal life. All right. Uh, do you have plans to return to your home country? Yeah. Uh, I have a strong ties uh, with my home country, like my family is clear, and uh, we rely on each other for the support and spend quality time together. And I'm really I'm eager to apply my experience to enhance the level of the event management sector in my country, I'm in America. Okay, all right. Have you ever visited the U.S.? No, officer. No, okay, and uh, have you ever been arrested? Yeah. No, officer. Taking drugs, smoking. Okay. Um, do you have a boyfriend in the U.S.? Okay. Um, do you have you spoken against the U.S. government? Okay. Uh, will you be working while you're on your visa? No, officer. My first priority is to get my passport. All right. Uh, what guarantees that you will come back to Nepal? Uh, because I want to start up my own career as an event manager. Okay. And I will uh, show my skill creativity, which will help me to work my law for my organization. All right. Okay. Thank you. I just want to grant you your congratulations. You grant you your U.S. visa. Take care. Okay. Um,